man who is going about, everyone is laying hand on him. Selma, everybody is laying hand on Selma. From all the fathers are laying hand on him. Do you know what, what, what he's doing? You don't know what he's doing. Even himself don't know what he's doing. In his mind, he's collecting anointing. In his mind, he's collecting anointing. But he's collecting seed. Yes. He's collecting a combination of all their errors. So if, if, he does, if God don't help that guy, he will be a monster in future. Because he has collected everywhere. He has gone everywhere. You see, look, look at God. Even when God told Elijah, anoint Elijah to be prophet in your room. Did Elijah lay hand on him? So you, you don't know what they are doing. Even them don't know what they are doing. They feel they should go to the papa and lay hand. Meet this one. Lay hand. Meet that demon. Hey. Meet that demon. Hey. Meet my widow. Hey. Meet everybody. Hey. And you collect everything. You want to be a monster. But we will cut off the horns. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. We will cut it off. The man inside generation will not rise. God spoke to me about it. He said, I will make sure the fathers be eunuchs so that the man inside will not rise. A generation that will make people forget God. It can't rise again. That is a monster that the devil is preparing. But we must stop it. People must fear God. People must pursue God. People must find the true God. Not the God of oil. Not the God of olive oil. Not the God of water. Not the God of blood sprinkling. Not the God of writing prayer point as a letter to God. I, look at the stupidity. Who wrote prayer point as a letter? They use Ezekiah. Ezekiah never wrote any prayer point. He presented the letters of a foreign king to, to, to God. He didn't write the letters. So how does that inspire you writing prayer point to God? Go and read the Bible. The one is it Zechariah or Jehoshaphat? The one who presented letters to God. It, it, it was letters that I think it was Zechariah. It, it, it was letters that a king wrote against him. He presented it to God. So he, he didn't write prayer points and sent to God. They knew that their mouth is enough to cry unto God. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. Not the righteous write out. All those things that look as nothing, they are the little little foxes that spoils the vine. Listen carefully. No matter how pure water is, at 0.00% of urine in the water, you have destroyed its purity. Do you hear what I'm saying? No matter how pure water is, at 0.00% of urine, you have destroyed the purity of the water. No matter how much you are, what you are preaching is pure. At those, all those stupid errors, all those practices. So they are going about collecting all these things. They want to prolong something. They want to prolong something. So he said, don't pray for Saul. It's over. He's, I have made conclusion about that age and time. Oh, the, 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 the days of the sin of Jeroboam are over. The days... Of the image of jealousy in the house of a jealous God are over. Why is it that if you look at the whole world, every charismatic ministry on earth today patterned after Oyedepo of Winners or Mountain of Fire or Redeem. And if you see, that's how you see in every church that you visit, if you have eyes, in every church pattern after those three, you either meet the image of jealousy. Or the sin of Jeroboam or Molech. There are churches that have three of them in the house. The three. You enter, you see Molech. You enter, you see the image of jealousy. You enter, you see the sin of Jeroboam. That is why you will come to the church. Somebody told me last week during counseling, the person said, The church I'm coming from, we're not up to 20 or 30. He said, But everybody is a pastor. That's the sin of Jeroboam. That's the sin of Jeroboam. It is, as, it is giving you position to retain you in the church. They believe that if you don't give people position, they will leave church. Of course, people who are looking for position, once you give them position, they remain there. They remain there in that place. And the Lord began to show me. He said, that is not church. That is not church. It's not position that keep people is the word of the Lord. Look at what the Bible says. My sheep will lie down in green pastures. If they are green pastures, the people stay. And feed in the word and grow. 
so you either see these things that's how you see why is it that if those guys are big and uh, the dim is big winners is big mountain of fire is big and those who are their sons and daughters called call themselves we are generation of giants that's what the nature said he said we belong to the generation of giants and nature is of the stock of it we belong to the generation of giants and i said these people don't read their bible you are saying we are nephilims and they are, and, and it's true they, they are speaking the truth they are nephilims do you know what nephilims did what did they make they make even the imagination of people's heart to be against god so they they have spoken the truth that we belong to the nephilims generation of giants why in god's kingdom it is little david that god raised to use one stone and bring giants down david cut down five giants are you understanding me because the the, the ancients of this the most high god every giant on earth is a dwarf to the most high god for you to know that this people is either they are ignorant of scriptures or they don't belong to the kingdom of god for you to look at yourself and call yourself generation of giant it doesn't happen in the bible it's, it's not a kingdom word when people when they make the kind of statement if you don't understand the bible you will shout right on if you understand the bible you will say what is happening here you mean you are calling yourself nephilim what did jesus say to the disciple he said the least of you the greatest of you must be the least of you he didn't say the giant of you he said the least but like i said the lord will not allow the man is a generation to rise in our days.